Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, we are going to continue working on this. Um, what's happening here? Looks like a bug. Okay, we are going to continue working on this uh, Sky Sphere based time of day system, a Sky Atmosphere based time of say daily system. And today I'm going to define a parameter uh, called time for this in this blueprint and by changing the time I can directly change the time of the day like this so if I make it 12 it would be like this if I make it 0 that means midnight there will be stars like this and the sun will be gone oh yeah I can change it any way I need like this see and if I play the game you can see the sun is moving and yeah just like before so also you can customize or change the speed of time as well and that's what I am going to cover today and this episode is also sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right uh, at the moment uh, in the atmosphere we only have um, no, actually we don't have any parameters so let's add a time parameter so I would be able to set the uh, by changing the time I will be able to set the nature of this uh, sky sphere so I'll add a float variable let's call it time and I'll make it public so then I'll promote this part now I'll create another function update time and in the previous case I worked on I worked with the sky sphere extended version I know that time get the modulus of the time divided from 24 so that even if I keep incrementing the time it will always be within 0 to 24 range 24 is for the 24 hours for a day and divided by 24 so and multiply it by 360 so we can get the rotation of the and also we need to add a 90 degree offset so we can get the relevant rotation of the uh, directional light actor so we have to basically do the same thing here okay so let's copy that part and instead of the directional light actor I'll use sun compile now in the construction script I'll call update time and compile now it's like this that's because my time is 0 so if I make it 8 it would be like this and if I make it 12 it would be like this now I can change the time and move the sun very easy but we have a little problem so even if I change the time here 
as you can see the there is some pink or red shade here so that's because the skylight is not refreshed if I recapture it you can see now the skylight is changed this doesn't happen in the runtime but only happens in the uh, editor when I change the light so it re so see if I make it night time still the skylight is not updated so to fix that let's add a new variable skylight I'll make it in the type of skylight let's make it public and here now I can set the skylight um, let's define a category here oh, oh it should not be component it should be light atmosphere okay <laughs> now I told you I just wanted to order them here uh, that's why yeah that's why I put a category and not that important okay and now in the construction script when I update the time if I update the time I also need to get the skylight and do this recapture where is it yeah I have to force it to recapture the scene so that it can generate um, the ambient light correctly okay just call this I think this is a bit expensive function I'm not sure but uh, anyway in the runtime it works without any issue okay see now it is updated so if I set the BP atmosphere and time now if I make it to the daytime you can see the skylight is properly updated uh, we don't have any issues like as before okay and the only remaining thing is now we need to do this part where we hide set the visibility of the sky dome on and on or off so let's break this part and let's copy this part let's put that inside the update time or oh, should I do it separately yeah maybe let's do it separately Mm, yeah, let's promote this to a macro set star visibility. No, star visibility. The reason to promote it as a macro instead of a function is uh, because maybe I will have to have a do once node later in here in this section but I'm not sure yet so that's the reason okay so I don't need this one so how to determine the visibility that's based on the time 
if the time let's get it get it uh, the modulus division and divide by 24 if the time is now let's say in between if this is higher than uh, what's the six o'clock that means 18 right yeah so let's say 19 or if this is smaller than let's say 5 in the morning or or then this should be not visible right recapture sky and call star visibility let's set an output here as well oh we got an error right now we got the stars now if I make it daytime we don't have stars now we do we don't we do all right that's easy now let's restore the time of day system mm. without this and with the time like this get time plus and set time let's call it time scale and I'll make it point one maybe too fast I don't know point two right and then update time and check the star visibility all right now I'll set this to five in the morning okay now we put the sunrise and sunset stars so still we need to make these stars appear gradually not like just like that but I will work on that maybe tomorrow okay so that's it for today so I will make the source code download available through the patron page uh, you can download it if you like and also my this lightsaber combat project files also available you can download them now mm. and yeah if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye